What's up everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to display videos with Python. So in this video, we are going to see how to display videos with Python. So in order to display the videos in Python, we need a library called OpenCV. If it's not installed on your computer, simply go to your command prompt if you're on Windows and say pip install OpenCV dash Python hit enter and it will be installed on your computer it's telling me requirement already satisfied that's because i have already installed it so i'll close the command prompt and come here and start importing the library so i'll say import cv2 just like this and it will import the library and then what we need to do is we need to instantiate an object of video capture so uh, we can do something like this cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture and this video capture will take one argument that's going to be the path to our video file so i have this test.mp4 video file here i'm going to use this file you can use any other file that you like so i'll say test.mp4 just like this so now we have our video file inside our python code what we need to do is we need to read one frame at a time from this video file and display it on the screen in order to make it look like a video so i'll say while i can simply say while true to run an infinite loop but that's not going to be an ideal case we ha so we have a method in this video capture object called is opened which essentially checks if there are frames left in our uh, video capture object so what we can do is we can say cap dot is opened so if there exists a frame keep this while loop running that's essentially what we are doing here so while cap is opened what we want to do is we want to read a frame so we'll say ret comma frame is equal to cap dot read so this line of code here will read one frame for us you really need to worry about this ret right now we will get back to this in some other video so essentially what we are doing here is we are storing the frame inside this frame variable and then we are going to resize it a little bit so that it fits on our screen so i'm going to say frame is equal to cv2 dot resize this is another method in cv2 which helps us to resize uh, photos so i'm going to say cv2 dot resize first argument is the frame that we want to resize and the second argument is the tuple which will contain width and the height let's say 1200 comma 700 so we have resized the frame as well now we will display it on the screen so i'll say cv2 dot i am show this method lets us display images on screen so we need to give the window a name let's say video and the second argument is going to be the frame itself also we are going to check cv2 dot weight key 10 and 0 x ff is equal equal to ord q then break so what i'm doing here is i am checking if the user has pressed the q button on his or her keyboard if so then break out of the loop so that's what i have done here so i need to write if and finally we can come down here and say cap dot release and also cv2 dot destroy all windows so this cap dot release will release the memory and this destroy all windows will destroy all the windows that we opened using this script so if i run the code you can see the video file is perfectly running on my screen so as soon as the frames end the script will also end that's how we wrote this uh, condition here in this while loop so this is how you read uh, video files using python i hope you find this video helpful give this video a thumbs up like share subscribe peace out